What's up you guys, Brandon from Blaze Tech, and in today's video we're going to be checking out the Sartechi, that's how I would say it, the pretty much USB-C adapter, or pass-through, whatever you like to call it. So this is pretty much for my MacBook Pro, what's in it, why I got it, and pretty much if you should pick it up for yourself. But other than that, I'd really appreciate it if you guys leave a like on this video, also subscribe and hit the notification bell. And check out my socials, which are Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. They should be on the screen, as well as a link in the description. And there will be a affiliate Amazon link for this, if you want to come go and pick this up. I do get a commission from it, and it pretty much helps out the channel and helps out my lifestyle. So, other than that, we're getting into the video. See you with the next clip thing in it, which yes. Alright, so pretty much I picked up this from JB Hi-Fi, which is pretty much uh, America's Best Buy, pretty much, just JB Hi-Fi is Australian. I picked it up for 75 Australian dollars, and it's a USB-C pass-through, and I got it specifically for my MacBook, because as you can see, I got one USB-C, and one USB-C, and I have an adapter, and if you come to the other side, I have a sort of standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and this is a 13 inch macbook pro which i use daily but i need more adapters and stuff because i don't have enough so that is the reason why i bought this so we'll open it up see what's inside and primarily say why i'm gonna use it because i need one and if we just flip to the whole side you have usb c you have sd card reader and you have two USB 3.0 standard USB ports and you can put a micro SD card in there as well So if you flip it to the back, you got a Sartechi for branding uh, What it can do, like I said, USB-C uh, SD card and standard traditional USB Type-A ports And pretty much the same thing here And same thing there, just contact information That's pretty much the box, so we're gonna take it out, see what it's like and pretty much I'm going to run through why I actually need it for me and why it might suit you. Pretty much what it looks like coming straight out of the box. Um, as you can see, there's nothing else on that side. And there's nothing else in the box either, not even the instruction manual. But it's pretty easy. So this is what you get. And yes, I am using my MacBook as a, I guess, holder. And I'll show you what it's like. I'll take it out of the box. So this is pretty much what it looks like. It's actually a lot smaller than I expected. So, SARTAC, and you got some info. So here you got the USB-C, which is what I need because my MacBook Pro 13 inch model accepts two USB-C ports, and I pretty much haven't got enough for everything that I want to do. So that's why I got this. So you go over here to USB-C port, I mean, two USB-A ports, and over here you got a SD card reader, as well as I think that's a micro SD card reader and another USB-C. So pretty much, if it comes to my laptop, this is how it's going to connect. So here's my MacBook Pro. Here's the little adapter. And you got USB-C port right there. I'm going to try and not mess this up. And goes in like so. Just had to shove it in there. So once that's connected, right now I don't need to use this, which is great because I don't want to use it. So like you said, you have a SD card reader, USB-C, and two Type-A ports. So, for example purposes, if you want to use a USB Type-C, it's pretty simple. As you can see, this head is USB Type-C. Down there, USB Type-C. Just plug it in, I need to push it in. There you go, and now this is ready to use. And as you can see there, it's lit up as blue, which means it's working, and well, it's working. So now you got SD card reader and I'm gonna check if that's a micro SD card reader. I might be wrong, don't quote me. And you got two USB type A's. So we're gonna test them all out and see what is going on. All right, so unfortunately I don't have a micro SD available, but this is a normal micro SD card for my Sony camera, which you might notice on my other videos that I use. But pretty much it's pretty simple. You just push, it in like that and I got it from my round never mind we just flip it then you put it in 
to say that and that is all ready to go. Now, you'll be asked, Dropbox would, no, no, well, that's fine, but no, I want to cancel that, okay? So you go to your Untitled thing, and this is pretty much my Sony camera information, all of that's there. So while that's in, I'm going to see if I can find a USB and just put it in. Then you'll be able to see that that works as well as the SD card reader itself. All right, so luckily, I have a USB-C available. This is from school way back then. So we're going to plug it in as well as leave the SD card in and see if it picks up both devices at the same time. Okay, it was a bit of a push, but as you got it in, as you can see, it's flashing, which means it's being indicated. So if we close this here, go to Brandon USB. Now this is all my stuff from my USB. And since I still have my SD card in, I can also access that as well, which is known as Untitled because I haven't named it. So if you want to eject it, just simply be like, right click on it if you're on MacBook, eject. And I want to eject this as well. That's pretty much done. So I don't want to break it. I'm, actually, I'm gonna use two hands. And pretty much like that, just take it out. Works totally fine. Um, if you guys want to overread and write speeds of this, I'll leave that in the comments below. I'm not gonna add it in this video. Just because I don't feel like it's really necessary right now because it's an adapter. You know, it's gonna be not as far as an SSD or a standard hard drive, um, but it's an adapter. It does what it does. That's why I got it. I didn't get it for specific read or write speeds. I just got it for convenience sake and pretty much it does what I need it to do. In reality, I just needed one USB-C port and one USB-A and a SD card reader. And instead, I got two USB-As, one USB-C and a SD card reader. So I got a little bit more than I wanted. So like I said, I picked this up for 80 dollars i believe for 75 australian not sure how much usd that is but i'll leave a link in the description for that and other than that remember if you like the video smash like also tap the subscribe button and the notification bell and check out my socials i have instagram twitter and twitch over right here and the link below but no comment any questions you got and i'll be happy to get back to you when i can other than that see you guys in the next video Brandon from Blaze Tech, I'm out to see you, bye, -bye.